All right, you idiot. What are we doing today? Just putting some sleeves on? We finally got sleeves for the trike. It only took us like three months, but we finally got them. <laughs> yeah. So this is the, the trike we built for our senior design project in high school. Yep. Um, Don't really know how we got away with that, but we'll yeah. take it. <laughs> I mean, it, it started out as we can't build a go-kart, so what if we took a wheel off? And our teacher was like, oh, yeah, I guess that, sure. And he didn't know it was going to have a motor on yeah, it. Yeah, no, the, the stipulation was it wouldn't have a motor <laughs> on it. Um, so then we just were clever designing it. And put a motor on it. Yeah. <laughs> and at one point in school, he was like, yeah, well, that's... We walked in and had the motor mount plate. He's less like, what's that for? Like, storage? You gotta be able to take your stacks with you on a drift track excursion. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, well, it looks like you could mount a, a motor on there. Like, I mean, you could. He's like, cool. <laughs> just uh, just don't test it at the school. Was the... <laughs> yep. And then, of course, a couple of weeks later was... Hey, the yeah, the principal was like, hey, I want to see that. So that was good. <laughs> Got the rear axle kit online. That has made it up to this uh, Harbor Freight motor. Um, yep. Predator 212. Obviously, it's a little bit hopped up. We rejetted it for more fuel, um, added a high flow air intake, and we made a custom exhaust for it. It had a flapper cap on it that we need to weld back on because I still have that. Yeah, it, it fell off it at broke. some point, and we just have been too lazy to put it back on. Yep, yep. Um, and then, since Tristan works at a bike shop, he was able to source a bike front end that we could use for this. Yeah, and, out, uh, out of the trash. Yeah. Let's, let's clarify that. <laughs> source. Source. Source, trash, same thing. Dumpster. Yeah. Uh, and kind of the miscellaneous parts, like the stem and all that stuff that we needed, the adapter for the stem. Yep. Went from a, a threaded steer tube, and we wanted to use a, a standard stem for an inch and an eighth steer, so. It's stronger and looks better. And yeah, it's a lot, reasons. a lot cleaner now. Yeah. And then of course we did the spray can paint. Yeah, and which, I mean, it looked great for a while. I mean, it still looks it's good. not bad. As long as you don't look right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right where we went through some dirt and found some yeah. rocks to chip it and like Other strip off that, all of the paint. For a spray can paint job, it came out really well. Yeah. So. So we just have a, a twist throttle on here. We're actually in a new one of those from yes. Chris. We'll have to see if it works any better than the one we've got. True. <laughs> and we just got some, the bike brakes on the front, and then we have a, a mechanical disc on the back. It's with more a, than enough. Oh, yeah, with a foot brake right here. We were a little worried about that, but then once we actually started riding it around, the slightest touch of the brake causes the back end to break loose, especially with the sleeves on it. So... That definitely isn't a problem with it being mechanical. Yeah, and this somehow this seat isn't that uncomfortable. It looks like it would be, but it, it's not. Especially with the bolts sticking yeah. through here, but you can't feel them, so yeah. it's not, I don't know, we deal with it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we've, we've been rolling with uh, the, the grip for a little bit, which, you know, is fun going straight. It's but sketchy it, as hell. <laughs> it doesn't turn. Yeah. Because, well, when we, you know... When we designed this, we weren't exactly thinking it through very well. Looking at this is stupid because there's literally no weight on the front wheel because Even when you're, I'm sitting on yeah, like you're sitting in the middle. Like I can guarantee you can still pick up the front oh, wheel. It's a little more difficult, but like. But that versus picking up the rear end. For it weighing 200 pounds right yeah. now. That's, that's <laughs> not. Uh, because the the motor's in the back, you're in the back, and then the front wheel's so far out that it's ridiculous. But the weight distribution, once you actually get the sleeves on it... Oh, yeah. For sliding around, it's yeah, great. we nailed that. Because most of these actually have the motor ahead of the rear axle. And we kind of wanted a little bit more weight behind it so that we could throw it around a little easier. And plus, it makes it a lot more compact. Yeah. And, and, and it means it's more stable when you yeah. get it into the drift. Exactly. Like transitions, you get a little bit of the like 911 Widowmaker <laughs> a little bit. going on. But <laughs> but uh, once you get into it, it likes to stay drifting. It does. And you don't have to hold an insane angle on it unless you're going really fast. Yeah. Which is nice. Especially because... The, trying to reach this handlebar. Yeah, that, that grip lock. gets a little far yeah. away. <laughs> These are just kind of a generic PVC pipe. We can order it in sections. And, that, um, and this is what we've used before, but a problem we've had is that the inside of this is very slick 
and we've thrown a few of these off of the tires. So we heard from a couple of guys that if we glue some sandpaper on the inside of these, then that sticks them to the tires a little better. So we're going to go ahead and do that and test it out and see if it helps or if we can even get them on in the first place. So we got some grip tape on. We're going to see if this will work. We just super glued some uh, some like what 80 grit, 100 grit, 80 grit. 80 yeah. grit. So 80 grit sandpaper there. Well, it's only what like two hours later. <laughs> this tire was easy. Uh, we ended up putting the sandpaper on there. That worked out great. This one slid right in. He did that and perfectly fine. This other one, on the other hand, this tire is full about halfway full of slime uh, because it doesn't want to fit on the bead very well. Um, and hasn't since the day we got it. We tried to get a new tire, same problem. Might be the rim, I don't know. Uh, anyway, this one, uh, in order to get the sleeves on, we have to take pretty much all the pressure out of the tires. And we did that just fine on the other one, but we did that on this one, and of course the bead popped off. So we spent probably about an hour and a half <laughs> struggling, trying to get the bead back on this freaking tire. As you can see, there's slime all the way around the rim there and we lost quite a bit of it over there too <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah So after we blew up that sleeve, Spencer went back home to put on another one and we all met up at a different parking lot. The first one was pretty rough pavement and we'd had luck at our second spot before with smoother pavement so we hoped we wouldn't have the same issues there. Uh, we got lucky and didn't have any more issues so we got some good drifting in and we're working on the tandems but the trikes have different levels of grip and different uh, different powers so we've been working on that but they're getting a little difficult so here's some clips of us screwing around there
around it. <laughs> it was like super slow motion drift in here without any grip. I know, it's weird. Oh. I see why you wear the gloves, my hands are raw. Yep. <laughs> Probably. That was solid. Man. <laughs> Ooh, this is going to be fast. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh shit. That was scary. That was crazy. Did you see your light flash before your eyes there? What? But I think I can get the double. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was with the crack. It's growing now. No, those are already there. Yeah, no, but it's it's, it's spreading. spreading there. It's gonna take a bigger chip out next. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> going for three. Well, you almost got it last time. 